Hey everybody, welcome to Tracer Rehouse number 9, the Cochiana Bruneeps. Um, for those that don't know, the Cochiana Bruneeps is a beautiful small dwarf tarantula and they have beautiful pink legs. And um, when I say beautiful dwarf tarantula, they really are a dwarf tarantula. Um, adult females do not get bigger than a 2 inch diagonal leg span. Um, the one I'm going to rehouse is an adult female, so I really hope I get a, a good shot in which you can see how small that actually is for a tarantula. Um, Let's get started. Okay, before I get to the rehouse, I just wanted to show you. Um, this is the Femix Pistachio Kamasa that I rehoused a couple of days ago. And look what it has done. You know, this plant and this plant were both here in the corner and then the back side. Um, the water dish flipped over. It's been rearranging the dirt and the moss. And it just goes to show you that no matter how nice of a setup you think you have, they 9 or 10 times won't agree and will start redecorating it. Um, Let's see if it feels like taking some food for us on camera. Yeah, nice. All right, now let's get to the rehouse. Okay, so this is the old enclosure of the Cochiana Bruneeps. And um, I'm gonna try to take this water bowl out. Oh, that doesn't seem to be... Oh, there we go. Okay. Because I'm going to rehouse that water ball in her new enclosure. And I'm really hoping... This is going to work out. <laughs> I will show you the new enclosure real quick. So, this is the new setup I have for... Um, the water bowl is gonna get over here. So fake plants, more fake plants, some moss, and a piece of cork bark she can hide under and start digging because they are obligate burrowers. And now I really hope that she will just go over. They are a little bit skittish, but not too defensive. Oh. Okay, one moment. <laughs> Here she is. And this is actually an adult female. So quite tiny. Now let's see if she will. Move over, girl. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Okay, this rehouse went a little bit less smooth than my rehouses normally do. Um, she actually ran out of the enclosure and onto my hands. Um, but no problem. Luckily, these species isn't very defensive. They are only a little bit skittish. But um, yeah, as you can see, she's calmed down and she's just sitting there, probably because she's not liking all the bright lights. But um, I'm hoping that as soon as the camera is off and the lid is on, that she will go under here and start digging there and make that her home. Um, so yeah, that was the rehouse. Stay tuned for the next video. The next video is going to be the unboxing of that mature male and I will finally reveal my breeding project. Um, the breeding itself will not happen for another two to three weeks because um, I want to give him the time to get acclimated to the situation here in the house and make a new good sperm web. I want to give her a couple of extra feet so she won't attack the male, um, hopefully. So yeah, but more of that in the next video. Um, I just want to thank you for watching. Please like the video if you did like it. Let me know what you think of the species. Let me know if you have one or would like one. Because they're really awesome tarantulas in my opinion. They look really beautiful. And this is an adult. This is an adult female. So they are really, really dwarfs. Um, yeah, like I said, like the video, comment. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Hit that 
uh, notification bell so you get a notification when I upload the next video. And um, see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.